Hey guys, how are you? Good. Great. How are you? I'm doing great. So to start, uh, I love whenever these teenage movies get to be a little raunchy. I think it's so much fun because especially where there are two girls at the center of them, normally we have to be like, oh, they actually want cute little prom dates. But I love that this movie kind of doesn't do that in the long run. For you guys, what is the fun of getting to tell a story like that that does have two females at the center of it that are not trying to be perfect little girls that we often get to see in movies? Absolutely. Do you want to go ahead, Kim, if you Yeah, have got sure. some? I mean, well, DJ, our writer, just gave us an incredible script. But uh, for myself personally, like I love doing female forward um, films. And I think also what was so great about this was we decided like from the get go tonally that it was like um, these are not. Yes, like they're they're grimy, wormy girls as they were growing up, their best friends. And we just wanted to get that sort of like real that just real authentic quality that a lot of us uh, have, like myself and, and our friends too. So, I mean, that was just for me, just, it just felt like it resonated. It just felt real and, and like the, the friends that I know. Yeah, I totally agree with that. I mean, I feel like something Kim and I talked a lot about is um, wanting to represent a true teen girl experience and like, You know, I think there was for a while there a wave of movies like under the branding of like feminist that were just like responsible ladies letting loose. And I'm like, no, my friends and I were menaces to society. Like, sure, I was on student council, but I was also like hopping barbed wire fences and like denim jean dresses when I was femme, you know, and tearing my legs open and like just stuff like that. Like, I think... um one of the things that was funny like of this process was like talking to other members of our team who didn't have teen girlhood and being like no we're like stinky sweaty like like thirsting over boys and movies and I, I think that there's something fun about being able to show that you know uh teen girls are just as dumb as every other gender you know it's freeing and in that way it's feminist so quote me on that that women being dumb is feminist <laughs> We're still at work, yeah. Uh, as someone who literally had a like, I guess it's a shrine, but a bunch of pictures of Hayden Christensen in a closet, this is where I can hang them. Yes, I understand that very well. Yeah, I was like, if I wake up and I'm Rachel Bilson, it's gonna be the best day of my life. <laughs> um, but I do have to ask him when you read DJ's script and you saw that they literally put these girls at multiple house parties and had multiple throwing up. references and just kind of continue to go off the rails with promposals and all these other instances what were was your first reaction to like seeing all those knowing like okay well I have to bring this to life in a way that also does feel very real in high school because it does but it is in kind of wild to look at on paper Yeah, sure. Well, first of all, you, even though it takes place in high school, I think those things still happen all the time. Uh, I thought it was great. I just we had such a good time with it. I mean, just I mean, I remember just being when I was uh, a senior, like liking that I had long hair because then if I had to vomit for any reason, you could just like pull it back really quick in a ponytail and it just wouldn't like get in getting the face and stuff like that so I, I just felt like it's like the stuff that we talked about the stuff that DJ um had in the script it was so fun and I think so true too because anyone anyone who goes out all night and has sort of a, a desperate mission also attached to it is is probably going to have a non-linear type of experience so I I loved it and it was Yeah, easy and fun it's so good. And for a last quick question, I do have to ask. I love that the gut reaction is to just be like, okay, I'm going to ask Sarah Polson via DM if she will come with me to prom and that's how I'll come out. If you guys could have asked any celebrity to your prom, who would you have asked? Um, Kristen Stewart. Definitely Kristen Stewart. That's a good one. That's so good. I I feel like even though I wasn't familiar with her work at that time, I would still, I would still ask Sarah Paulson. Obviously, I'm Yeah, there's Oh yeah. Sarah and, and Kristen would be 
<laughs> you're really, it would be a really good deal. Like regardless. Yeah. It would be a perfect duo. And me, the straight friend would be like, here's Christian Bale. Like, yeah. Christian. And, and Hayden. Yeah. Exactly. Imagine Hayden. rocking up to, but seriously, like imagine rocking up to prom with Christian Bale, <laughs> hair blowing in the wind being like, yeah, I'm actually really cool. And you didn't know. That is the vibe of this movie, by the way. It's yeah. being like, maybe if I straighten my side bangs just right, everyone's going to see that. I'm the coolest girl in school is absolutely the fantasy yeah. we're, we're 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 all so for good. the we're all for the uh the manifestation it's here <laughs> <laughs> it is so good thank you guys so much for talking with me i really appreciate it and i can't wait for people to get to see prom dates yeah thank you so, so much, much rachel it's nice to meet yeah. you